Today we're going to work on what we talked about the last time. You guys told me that I should create a projectile branch, a melee branch and a defensive branch. So today we have to ask the question. Bah, excuse me. Um, which ability should be the first ability? Should it be wind slash? Or should it be shield orbs? <laughs> the question verb. <clears throat> cool branches now, thank you. So much changed since I last saw this. Really? Not much actually did change. Deadlock is an Overwatch MOBA. Cakes, you mean combine the heroes into flexible types? No. I mean creating actual paths that make sense. So this guy could have a projectile path. Now we already have... I don't know if shield bash is a projectile or if it's more like a crowd control melee ability. I think this is more like a melee ability than it is a projectile. Mm, but I have... So, okay. <clears throat> here's, here's the idea. I'll show you in paint. Okay, guys? Let's talk about... I just love talking about this, you know? I, ju I, just, I just love it. It's already... I already have fun. So let's say we have a projectile path, right? Whoops. You're banned. Alright. I'm not blabbering, bitch. I'm developing the game. Fuck off. Alright, so we have a projectile path, right? Now. What I want to do is the following. We have four upgrade tiers. Okay? Right, let me move this a little bit better. Okay, so now with these tiers, that's tier 1. And then I guess we quickly copy that here. Tier 2, tier 3, tier 4. Now, <clears throat> I want to give you some background on my game. I have what I call resources, okay? And I don't know if you spell this with tab double S, resources, I think. I have resources in the game, okay? And there's two types. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, thank you. Thank you, man. That uh, we have essentially two bubbles, and you have seen this. Oh, give me a second. We have the HP bar. And we have... No, no, no. Stop it. And we have... I guess we call it juice. Okay. So right, right here we have HP. And I guess energy. So these are the two resources that we have. We could use that to spend on abilities. So here's what I, my issue is, okay? I'll explain to you. Each ability, and these are abilities, right? They all cost... They have a cost. They have a cost. Or they have a cost in terms of cooldown. Cost and cooldown. Okay. 
All of them have that. Haha. <laughs> So let me finish this. I think this is really interesting. Because this is something that has to do with gameplay and design decisions. So here is my dilemma or my question. If I give this ability a cooldown of zero and a cost of five. Every time I have five energy. And so let's say energy by itself. Right. Is 100 out of 100 okay you see that i have 100 energy so i have a cost of five energy and no cooldown on the tier one ability that means every time i have five energy i spend the five energy on this ability so essentially having this ability here means i will never go above five energy because i will use this on cooldown all the time <coughs> did you play collector's game cakes yes i was i did it was really funny right <laughs> so the issue is here we'll probably have a priority list based on spell power here's the issue if i give this tier 2 ability a cost of 10 and a cooldown of 0 it will never be used never used it's never used <coughs> <coughs> The reason why it's never used is because it's using the tier 1 ability because it costs less cost. Costs less money, money, mana, energy. <clears throat> and why is that? Because these abilities, these abilities, they are automated. Okay, they automatically, the units automatically use these abilities. And so, the way I thought about changing this was to not have a cost, but go for a cooldown of, let's say, 8 seconds on the tier 1 ability. Now, this could be used. Because I have a cooldown of 8. Now I have this tier 2 ability that has a 10 cost. The 10 energy cost. Now I can use this. And then the tier 3 ability. I would need to give it a cooldown too. And tier 3 ability cooldown would be maybe a shorter cooldown. I don't know. But then that means the tier 2 ability here, the one that costs 10, is, has to be an ability that you can use all the time, if that makes sense. So let me explain to you what that means. Um, at some point, wouldn't you keep the cooldown static, but better stats? Yes, so essentially, stats will affect the cooldown, of course. Bro is discovering that abilities should have a cooldown. You're banned. See you in 10 minutes. What a noob. What a noob. What an actual noob. Didn't even, didn't even take part in the discussion, just making fun of it. No, bitch. Think about what you just did. Mm. Good afternoon, Cakes. Hello there, Judge Koala. Good morning. Hope you're doing good, bruv. You can tell that Cake slept badly. He already banned for the five people in the first 15 minutes of the stream. 
So you just want to mash all buttons, basically. Oh, you're Bantu. You don't... You're, you're literally just saying some random shit. Okay. Alright, so... I'll show you how that looks in the game, okay? I can... I think I have enough abilities to actually create... A... To actually create... Something interesting. Yeah. Okay, guys. I'll create... And the Path of Exile people are gonna love this. And Ash Nobs, thank you again for your message on Discord. I did start Black Myth Wukong off stream to let the shaders compile. And yet that took a... Yes, that took a while. But uh, I didn't do anything else. I just let, just let the shaders compile off stream. Hmm. We are going to do the following. I need to create a shield. Maybe like this. Maybe more glowy. Am I so out of touch? That splits. No. Bamboo Ozel just subscribed. My man, thank you. support for eight years. Thank you. This one girl is destroying my head. THX for the Oplinken. This one girl is destroying my head. Okay, my man. Appreciate it, bruv. Don't let her do that. Good morning. Oh, uh, uh, Ameses. Amekes. Uh, good morning. Thank you so much for the raid. Hello, guys. Hello, raiders. We were just discussing some five-head strategies. You see that right here? Ten-head, actually. Five-head strategies, bruv. Good morning. Hope you had a good stream. For those of you who don't know what we do... We're making a tower defense game. Mm-hmm. Hey, I was told you are the go-to game dev. True, 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 true. Yes, I am the best game development stream on Twitch. Yeah. Because I make my game in C++. And you know, C++ programmers have the biggest dicks. We are the gigachats of gigachats. Hmm? Yeah. Yep, true, true. This stream is where all the development happens. True, true, true. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. Best game dev who also bans faster than the shadow than the shadow can realize. True. Hello, innocent people in jail. How are you doing? Ah, okay. Paradox. Switch over to YouTube to keep talking. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Fuck off. Oh, we just got another raid. Good morning, Mr. Kebab Skull. Hello, hope you're doing good. It's true, I use C sharp, meaning I have I have nano PP. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, yeah, that's actually true. Mm hmm More raids, yeah. Good morning with all the raids, guys. Appreciate it. Guys, how can we make this shield look cool? Just like Bjorn. Good morning. Fine. I guys, now I wanna pressure. I wanted to like quickly make a cool ability what are you doing good morning hope you had a good stream how's your game coming along kebab skull is there a release date in sight and how is you're making it in godot right how is godot treating you bro guys does this look like a really cool and sharp shield or should i go for this you think this would be cooler to have it as a shield or is that too like too spitz in english Guys, what does Spitz mean? Things are going well? Looks like like a uh, sharp. Too sharp. Yeah, too sharp. Like this better. Alright, fine. Alright, okay. Started revamping the tutorial. Have you, take, have you taken a look at Zelda shields for some inspiration? No, I don't need Zelda shields, bruv. I just need an attack. Alright, let's just call this the shield... And for those of you who play PoE, you're gonna be excited. Spectral shield throw. This is what we're going to do today. Ooh, this looks much better. Look how cool this looks. Mm. Wait a minute. This looks much cooler. I need to create such a shield here, guys. Wait, so how does he do that? He has a very bright 
thing here. Right. Right. And then, like, is that blue? Dark blue here. Mm-hmm. But it's supposed to be darker, actually. And then this is supposed to be bright. Ah, I mean... Uh, I mean... They have more pixels? Yeah, you're right. They do. And I don't. Oh, shit. I know. Hello, winter. Winter, good morning. When winter. Seriously, though, aren't we allowed to make fun of random stuff on stream? It's for entertainment, right? If no, what's the purpose of your stream? Education, because I don't want to learn anything from your coding style. Ooh, I've got a ban you on YouTube too, bro. I've got a ban you on YouTube! This guy is trying to trigger me, actually. He's actually trying to trigger me. Looking good. Guys, we're gonna make it. Just wait. Oh no, I'm a fucking moron. Uh oh. Uh oh. I replaced. I mean, it does look cool. Guys, take a look. Watch. Oh, it actually, it didn't. But take a look here. I actually turned that into blue. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow, 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 wow. Okay, wait a minute. Shit. Uh, fuck, okay. Why YouTube paradox? Uh, he liked switching to YouTube. You serious? Because I'm serious. I don't like your style. I don't want to use it. So you're actually getting... This guy's actually taking a joke and getting angry. Today's bad day. Kix didn't sleep much because he played Raid Shadow Legends all night. Okay, bro. Goodness. Changes are all possessed. Alright, so let's see. Mm, maybe I just do one outline and then create a dark blue contrast. Hmm? I mean, it doesn't look as cool as this. True figures ban everybody knows, so knows it so they can't test. complain. Yeah, true, true. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> true. Uh, let's see here. I don't like how this looks. This looks bad. But anyway, thank you guys for the rate. Uh, I really appreciate it. I was just gonna make a spectral shield throw ability. Ah, it doesn't look as cool as the one on the website. To be honest. Maybe it's because I need to make it more shiny. I don't have enough points to make his forehead bigger. No, like it doesn't work either. Just copy it. I can't. Wait a minute. Whoops. Let's do this. This. And then this maybe? Does this still look Why like a shield? Why does it take 10 days to search for intro time? Why is the program crashing? If I search for intro time! Oh Oops. my god! 
Yeah, that looks good. What about this? Okay, I like that. I think this is almost as good. And now we just need to put some, some cool stuff inside here. Uh, maybe like some shininess here? Hey. Yeah. Looks like Legend of Zelda item. No, no, just wait, bro. Just wait. Okay. Just wait. I kind of I wanna create uh, what you call that. Um, looks too much like a heart now. I'm on. No, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Also, we can't spend too much time on this because I just want to prove a point. You know, I need to prove a point. That's why I'm doing this. Yeah, okay, that looks nice. But I need to I need it to be round essentially. So how do I do that? Create the roundness of this. It's supposed to be like more round-ish. Something like that, I guess. Huh? Yeah. And then this, I guess. Nah. Okay. Cakes, do you know? Gletscher ice. <sighs> the drink. Is that what's currently used? Uh, Cola remind me of. Gletscher ice? Yeah, that's perfect. That's essentially what I want. Uh, it, it will be bloom bloomified, guys. Just wait. Okay, just wait. Cakes, is there any sound dialogue that plays in Gothic when thrown into the compound? You should add that as the band sound. No, like when thrown in the compound, like, like it's basically the guy screaming. Oh. It's this. No, I, I don't have... Look up the thing. Look up the thing, right? Look up uh, Gothic 1 trailer and then uh, go to the point where he gets thrown in. All right. I'll try this for now, okay? The shield doesn't look perfect, but we'll use this. You know, not every band is the same, right? Some of us don't have connections inside. Connections inside? What do you mean, bro? All right. So we're gonna do uh, this now. I'll show you. I'll show. You, uh, I'll explain to you what the issue is. And now you should be able to see uh, the ability rework. And it should actually be really fast. Let's make a new ability. Abil Oops. Ability. Ability. Uh, let's call it shield throw. Okay, so and the idea is also we need a projectile really quickly, but that's easy to do. We're gonna do... Uh, I guess we'll make it small like this. Then give it a nice little glow here and then... Gotcha, bitch. This. Actually, we can make a gradient. Very tiny projectiles, essentially. <clears throat> Just Burtek, thank you very much for following. Good morning. Let's see here. Hello, how's it going, bro? Good morning. I think something like that would be cool. And then going here. And doing gradient tool, then using 
I suppose this color. Eh? No, wait. Down. Why can I not go down? Eh? I don't understand that. That makes no sense. Anyways, so that's supposed to be like the projectile then. Alright, so adding a new abilities. Ability shield throw is the first thing we need to do. Then we need to go into assets and add in another, I guess, effect. There you go. And then we have a sprite effect shield throw um i don't know what guys guys what do you call this in english it's like a very small projectile it's like a it's not a fragment but it's like a sharpnel no it's like, um, I don't even know how to say that in Germany. Bolt, dart, shot, shot. Thank you, shot, perfect. Shield throw, shot. And then, uh, I guess it's not a, really an effect, right? <coughs> mm. It's not really an effect. Um, let's see. And what type of arrow do I have? Arrow level up, arrow down, split arrow. Split arrow, explosive arrow, 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 arrow. Items, sprite chest arrow. Drop down arrow. Yeah, shards. <laughs> mm. Kind of pointless to argue with cakes. Not only does he not read youtube chat with delay he does read youtube chat with delay he also reads stuff from bottom to top and misses half the context nice ice shield shut the fuck up bitch shut the fuck up arrow fire ah there we go okay so sprite shield uh projectile i guess and then sprite shield shot and then we go over here. Uh, effects. Ice spike. There you go. Okay. Shield. Shard. There we go. Shield shard and shield projectile. And then we go to blood drop. There you go. Boom. And add those two in. There we go. Projectile. And then these are... What, what do we have here? The one is 16 by 16. The projectile. Uh, 16 by 16. And then this one, I guess we'll do 8 width by 16 height. They don't have frames. They are not animated. I will animate them over time, I guess. Or not at all. Alright, so where's the projectile? Um, 1,312 by 144. And then this one is uh, 144 for sure. And then 1,296. All right. And now in the uh, create... Gotcha, bitch. Create ability of type. There we go. Go to the very bottom where we switch on the ability. And we create a new branch. Yoink. For the ability. Gotcha, shield. Throw. Galaxy Media. You already, uh, you, you already followed. Thank you Kodak Gimmick and uh, just Botek for following earlier. I really appreciate it guys. All right, we need a new name. Okay, this guy is gone for 10 minutes. Goodbye. Uh, let's see, spear toss, yeah, string. Shield, 
Throw. Spear. Oops. Sorry, I I'm being confused by Vim. String. Coffee Lava, how is your game coming along? Bro, your new game. There you go. Gotcha, bitch. String. Hey, refollow. Are you really banning people for refollowing? Paradox, if you're starting to get pissed because I banned you, because you made a uh, kind of like bantering comment on my thing, then maybe you have to evaluate whether you are actually should take a break from watching or something. Because you've been angry about getting banned when you know exactly that that happens. So like you make the decision. Coming along, okay, yeah. What type of game are you making next? And also, what did you learn from your current game? I would like to talk about that. Maybe maybe you want to make like... Um, I don't like putting you on the spot, but maybe it's really cool for others to learn, you know? Would be cool if you can... Uh, like... You know, talk about your game. Oh, we still have the stream elements Raid Shadow Legends. Let me turn that off really quickly. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I totally forgot about that. <clears throat> mm. Let me turn that off. Um, chatbot? Was it chatbot? Mm, custom commands Raid, yeah. Turn it off. All right. It's turned off now. Very nice. Also, uh, I think I can get rid of the uh, channel banner. Let me do that too. Let me quickly get rid of this. Okay, guys. Let me see. Channel. Let's mute this. There you go. Um, down here somewhere. Edit panels. Let's get rid of that too. Uh, remove. Yep. Now again, guys, I really do appreciate the support on Friday. It does mean a lot to me. And yes, it was... It is directly uh, uh, helping me pay my bills. So I really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Food for thought video, yeah. I learned a lot. Can't really type it out all here. So yeah, I would like to, if you want to... Like some sort of, you know, what the big streamers do, where, you know, I invite you on stream and we talk about your game and your experiences, you know, that would be cool, you know, if you want to do it. Can you read like the following two comments on chat? Can't we ask genuine questions? The two following questions. You always miss context. Uh, genuine questions. So I explained something. Let's see. Let's see. You're, like, you're very argumentative. I don't like that at all. Bro is discovering that abilities should have a cooldown. So like, I'm thinking of banning you for multiple lines. days now. Because you're actually... Don't help, uh... Coding Good morning. You're actually getting triggered by... Being a toxic person first, you know, making fun of me, which is fine. But then you get attacked yourself and you can't take a hit. You're making all of this drama. You're wasting my time just because you can't take a hit. Bruv, you know what? I'll see you. I'll see you later, bro. See you in 30 minutes. Stop fucking annoying me. You're actually pissing me off. Shut up, man. If you throw jabs, you should be able to take some too, you know? It's bantering. Okay, and if you don't like that, then don't write these messages. Don't make fun of me. I generally love doing this, talking about this. Okay? Yeah, you're making fun of me? That's totally fine. I don't care. Like, people can make fun of me all the time. But you can't take a hit and you're complaining like a little bitch. Grow up, bro. Grow the fuck up. What do you mean? Huh? Learn to take a hit, bruv. Goodness, man. Wasting my time. Goodness. 
Have you ever heard Collector of Stuff complain one time that he gets banned? If you don't want to get banned, then don't write toxic messages. Don't make fun of me. That's fine. It's part of the stream. You've been here for multiple days. You should know how it works, bruv. <laughs> don't explain if he gets angry at nothing. This is funny. The Tamas was actually out of nowhere. Paradox meant... Uh, Wait, that Thomas was actually out of nowhere. Tell us, meant read the message following up a chat, not his messages. Seriously, aren't we allowed to have fun random stuff on stream? No, you guys are wrong. So guys, I'll tell you exactly what my issue is. This right here. This is my issue. This is the issue. I saw this. Okay, I'm not stupid. This is a person that forgoes a ban, goes to another's chat, and then complains about being banned. So I should have banned him here too. No. It's fine, you know, you guys know. It's fine. I, I can take million hits. I take hits all the time. I don't care. It's fun, right? I'm having fun with this. But what I don't have fun is when people complain, making fun of me, and then complain that they get banned or like could time out for like a second. Shut up, bitch. What are you? You made of paper? Then don't come here, bro. Go to someone else's channel. You freaking read my message. I say something like maybe take a break. Then you read two to three message. What's the purpose of his stream, bro? Yeah, you're banned on there too, bro. You're annoying me. I don't have time for you. I don't have time. Literally. Goodbye. Don't care. Don't care. I get it, but now you got mad and asking a question about follow bands, but I agreed with the bands after some explained. He agreed with the bands. I get it, but now you got mad. No, the thing that he should say is, I'm sorry. That's what he should say. He didn't say that. He kept complaining. So he's gone for another 30 minutes. He went to YouTube to complain further. Then he did the same. He got unbanned. Exactly. So like he kept complaining. Exactly. That is the point. Thanks you. Someone understands. So now, Coffee Lava. I wanted to ask you. Fuck you, cakes. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> uh, Coffee Lava. Cakes, I made a concept video already from actual gameplay. Ooh, let's watch that. So, Coffee... Yeah, you're banned. I mean, uh, oh, you're so lucky that you're a moderator, bro. You're so fucking lucky that you, I, I don't want to mod you again after unbanning. Oh, you're, so, you're, you're just so lucky like TCAP, man. Oh, my God. Dude, are you lucky? Holy shit, man. Oh. So, like, okay. You're lucky that you're a moderator, but... um. Cakes, dumb. Music, Beach, Mc Kevin McCloud. Yeah, that's that's actually uh, uh, whatever that's. Uh, frei verfügbare Musik. Um, would you like to come on stream? Doesn't have to be today. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe in a week. Maybe in two weeks. Uh, excuse me. And talk about your game, Coffee Lava. Maybe with camera. Maybe without. Would you like to do that? Let's watch the video. Ban him, Cakes. Come on, do it. Basic. <laughs> Lol, that was a nice one to be honest. Would you like to do that? I can make a YouTube video of it too, you know? Maybe, maybe it even helps you get like one or two or three more sales. Bro, don't. Shut the fuck up. He's just gonna use you for content. You know that this is helpful. You know that, right? You know that if, let's say, 500 people see a video of a game, they check out the Steam page, for example. You know that this is helpful, you know? That? You moron? Not today, some other day, sure. Cool. Yeah, let's do it then. Uh, we can... I'll, I'll write you on Discord. Go have like 4K subs. You're not a, nobody. I know, but I, I said that some people do maybe check out his game you know ban him yeah i should actually ban him he's actually annoying piss off bitch don't do it coffee lava he will put you in a youtube video and then use it as ammo to claim that he 
Activate. does not only do react. <laughs> Dude, I'm looking for my content. Open okay, bro, you're account. complaining. Actually, Inuka, you're going to. You're pissing me off. Shut the fuck up, man. I'm trying to make actual real good content, you know? And then, like, they're complaining. These guys are complaining all the time, man. Okay, let's watch the video. What game are you making now? Ah, I see. Wait. What is... Is that like some sort of a game where... Oh, I see. Is it... Um. Oh, you died. Oh, it's like... Uh, what is it called? Ooh, 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 ooh. You, uh, is this... Um... Ah, what is it called, man? Like one of these uh, rage games, essentially. Looks fun. Swimming over it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you should call it swimming over it. True. Hey, bro. But wait. I have an idea for your game, bro. Wait. I have actually a really cool idea. Maybe it works. Maybe not. You know? Maybe I'm, uh, maybe I'm totally wrong. Watch this. Let's say, right, you have plateaus. Okay, like this is going to be very simple, right? And then there's water here, okay? And then you're supposed, like you only have this much, but then, okay, wait. And you make, you have enemies in the water, right? And then you are the green one. And you have to somehow, the longer you swim, the more distance you swim, the faster you get, right? And so you are... Hmm. I don't know if it works, guys. I don't know if it actually works. Because you would need to have... I think it doesn't even make sense. You would need to have like water droplets in here. And then maybe some enemies in here too. But essentially you, you would like... Accelerate, bloop, and then fall. No, I need a W. You know, I need like to that dig. again. I need a big. And then over here we fat. have another like pool of water, right? With enemies in there, and then uh, you would have to go through these again to accelerate in this direction, maybe to get into another pool of water. Uh, and I'm, I'm drawing these terribly, but uh, essentially like that, right? And water. And so if you like miss a jump, like maybe you're, you know, you're terrible and you miss a jump, then you're like essentially, it is essentially like climbing a difficult game about climbing, but swimming. And you have to like keep going up. But maybe that's a bad idea. And so I guess the uh, the like the the gameplay loop of the game is how much can you accelerate a difficult game about swimming over it. Swimming over it would be funny though. So like you would Accelerate here and then uh, quickly use that to accelerate here. Like, I don't know. And then you're in the air. You don't have much control, but maybe a little bit. I don't know. Like, maybe it's bad. Maybe it is bad. But that's what I got from your game. Cool. Very cool. Interesting. Yeah. Very nice. Shitty title, though. Bitch. So you're trying to make a rage game, right? Coffee Lava Cakes. Did you ever check out Casey's course about performance aware programming? I started paying for it. And it is really great so far. The guy is just an amazing educator. Uh, worth the nine bucks a month. Mm. Maybe we'll do that towards the end of the project to improve you uh, to improve the performance. I'm thinking about doing that. Uh, yeah, maybe you can remind me or put it in like suggestions. Not sure I have a rage game, just a difficult game. 
Okay. Yeah, I wish you good luck, Coffee Lava. I wish you good luck. What's up? Hey, Oak Burger. Uh, nothing. Good morning. Make it uh, about human evolving backwards. Human, monkey, fish. Single cell. Nah. 90% of YouTube chat got removed when you banned Inukai. <laughs> Is that another Inukai there? Aren't you running at 1k FPS already? Improve what performance, lol? Yeah, we'll see, you know? We'll see if I have time. String. Uh, shield. Uh, throw. Alright, guys. Let me quickly shield throw. Put this in here. And then we have the shield throw spear toss description. And we need to add that in here as well. Yoink. So the idea is... Uh, shield throw. And I think I'm going to... Uh Dodge. I just love working on the game, guys. I, I don't know what to say, but it's it's just so fun. You know? You know how I can improve my startup even though I don't need to do this anymore? Wait, why is Raid Shadow Legends still on there? Hashtag add? Wait a minute. Hello. Give me a second. I might have not. Sorry about that, guys. Um, Streamelements.com. I might have not turned off the bot correctly. Sorry about that, guys. Let me turn it off here. Uh, chat bot. Chat commands. Timers. I think it's time. Yeah, there we, do. there we go. Okay, now it's off. Sorry about this. That's better. Cake's working overtime for raids. No, no, I'm not. I mean, I would be playing the game. But I, guys, you know, it's it's kind of a hot take. Um, this is, has nothing to do with, like, I'm not sponsored anymore, all right? Totally not. Um, I actually think that it is kind of interesting. Obviously, it's very... I'm not addicted but they certainly made me think about like, huh, that could be interesting. You know, the, I, what I liked about the game is the gearing aspect and making your character better. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what people can, that's what can hook people in. But I, I actually thought that, the, uh, you know, upgrading your gear and uh, stuff like that. That was cool, you know, having a very powerful hero. But I guess that's just how these games are designed, right? The Wukong that we got, Sun Wukong, obviously he was very strong, you know, and that was fun. That was actually really cool. So, yeah. You're not technically sponsored by Rage, but you're but clowning on your sponsors after you're done with the ad segment would mean you don't get future sponsors. Uh, I'm so confused. I got this stream on YouTube suggested page. But I don't understand the format. Are the streamers about game dev or meme stream? Uh, about some inside joke that I'm not in. You can't laugh at my wit, then uh, time me out for being mean. Cakes runs his own one-man clown circus. So you're about memes, not actual game dev. Oh, I am. I am actually about game dev coding board. We are currently making a, I don't know if you have ever played it, uh, spectral shield throw. So throws, let me show you what we can do on the stream okay you ready don't blink throws a shield uh it should it be like throws a shield uh that deals damage and splits into multiple shards on impact whoa sorry about that mm -hmm. And then I guess we need split stat, but we're gonna use uh, so physical damage range, and then uh, we need to have uh, split shards or something. I don't know what we call that yet. And then that's not plus; it's just going to be a normal one range, something like this. All right. 
And in the game here, we do a string shield throw. Ability. Oh, we don't have an ability icon for that yet. Yeah, let me add that really quickly. You would have 24,000 FPS with Vulcan? Maybe. Maybe. But in order to write that, you would most likely spend half your life. True. It's actually true, guys. I'm not joking. It's actually true. No, it's real. Uh oh. Uh oh, it's lagging. Uh oh. Okay, we are currently making. Yeah, we are currently making an icon really fast. Uh, I'll make the icon better later. Locked. All right, so what is this? Uh, we need sh uh, icon, yeah. Spring icon, uh, sp shield, throw. Now we have the icon and then we go to spear toss. Guys, stop spamming. So, hey, Abef, Abef, the spam is just too much, bro. I have to say, like the, the, the spam in the gambling thing, it's too much, bruv. Look at that, I can't reach it. It's just way too much, bro. Like one message is like three, four lines in chat. It's really, really bad. Uh, 16.48. Wait a minute, that's wrong. There you go. Shield throw, frame count two, and then where's that? We have it on 120, 676. 120, 676, there we go. Now we have the icon in the game. Ability, shield throw. Cakes, use it to your advantage if you miss a message. You're the reason. No, that sucks, bro. I don't want to miss messages at all because I want to have a discussion with chat. I can't have a discussion with chat if it's completely and utterly destroyed by spam. I'm actually going to remove that right now because I would like to have a discussion with you guys. Gamba is disabled. And then I'm going to talk to Abbeth about it. Let me talk to him about it. What did he say? Also, I missed this message. Next bot change. I also combined the gamma messages, minigame messages. There was a spelling mistake. Update the bot. Okay, he told me to update the bot, guys. So we're going to do that really quickly. And then maybe, uh, you know. So, string formatting stream. String formatting stream. No, I'm writing a string description right now for the ability, okay? Then I made an icon for the ability. In just a second, okay? I almost made the entire ability. Just wait, bruv. Okay, this guy is very impatient. I don't like this new viewer, okay? He's a very impatient viewer. Mm hmm? Bruv, just wait. Uh, yeah, wait, let me close the board here, and then this, and then we go over the Twitch board here. What did you say, Kicks? Uh, you can make Abbot add a special marker before the messages. You can use better Twitch TV filter to filter out bot replies. To be honest, I just don't want spam in the chat, to be honest. Long live Twitch Scamow. Let me ban him. I'll ban him. This is an actual bot. Yo, guys. Cake's been using a lot, bruv. You are impeccant. Uh, let me do... Um, wait. Git. Pull. And then Chet's mom is fat. There we go. Mm -hmm. C sharp? Yeah, that's a C sharp bot. I didn't write that. It's from Abbott. Dude, you told me. Watch what we can do here and then proceeded to write a string. Yeah. That's the first thing, bruv. Good password? Yeah. Perfect password. Okay, so we're currently quickly building the. Uh oh. Pre-launch task. This happens sometimes. Should be fine though. I don't know why this happens. Uh oh. Abbeth. Abbeth. Bro. Why could I not build the button now? 
Yeah, okay, fine. We're just gonna start the bot then. Fuck it. I don't know what it is. Uh, I might have done something wrong. It is usually because something is accessing a file and it can't write to the file. I don't know why that is. Let's try one more time. I'll try one more time. Yeah, now it works. See, like, for some reason, a file handle was still open. Very funny, huh? How C Sharp has a file handle open problem and my C++ code does not. Didn't we talk about this the other day? Defer? R-A-I-I? Huh. Interesting, isn't it? How C Sharp, for some reason, has that problem. Weird. Memory managed language, by the way, my brothers. Huh. Very interesting. Alright, let's see. Uh, guys, check out the new... Can you guys do Gamba enabled? Can you guys do Gamba? And show me how that works in chat, please. Can you do Gamba, please? I'm starting to understand the format now. It's basically about the entire viewership roasting him and Cakes roasting them back. That's too long. Sorry, but this is just too long. Am I Sorry, so out of Abbeth, touch? Abbeth, this is no. way too much Magic spam. I'm going to subscribed. disable this. Big Sorry, I just want to read chat. I want to have a discussion. It, I'm having a discussion on my stream and not spam. Why the fuck do I get... No, like, it's a cool idea, but it's too much spam. Okay, now. Cooldown of the ability will be zero. No cooldown. Okay, physical damage. So here's what we do. It is going to be minus 95% physical damage. And I'll show you for now what that looks like, okay? This is going to be percentage. <clears throat> Range direct is fine. to that. Range next level. No, direction okay. to this. And that works. Cool physical damage. And this is not base, but increased. Then we go over here to the text and we say physical damage this year is a percentage. Okay, we scale this percentage wise. There you go. Now, <laughs> splitting shots. Oh my god, I just, oh my um, god, what a day, man. We need another <laughs> target stat day. for that. Oh PS count. God. Oh yeah, we can use this count. <laughs> just right. can't and then we call it a float. Oh my god, the, the, the me and engines, man. Ten. The fucking UI rotates yeah, even here. bro, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we have start. Um. Um. Uh, not split. Fork. All right, guys. Here it is. Uh, we, we, we will have another ability in the game, another mechanic in the game, that is when a projectile impacts, right? Uh, watch this. Uh, actually, I need a new paint because I want to keep this. It's really, really important. When a projectile... Proj. When a projectile impacts, right? Let's say we have an arrow here. And it impacts in an enemy. Uh, I hate that, man. It impacts in an enemy. I want the projectile to split outward into a uh, into multiple directions. This is what I would call split. Okay, split is different than fork. Fork. Fork would mean we have an enemy and a projectile. And fork essentially creates this. It's a different way of creating uh, projectile impacts. Okay, and so split, maybe split does even have some homing. Or maybe, you know, some aim. That could be another an idea. And that was also, let me get rid of this. Just show it in PoE, classic PoE. Yeah, it's it's from PoE. 
And ability description that is um, shield throw. And then what do we get? The base strength, physical damage, range. Uh, let's test here. What do we have? Uh, we need the split shards and then the range. Okay. So first we have the uh, shards. Shards. Then the range and the footer strength. Mm -hmm. And then I guess we don't need a cooldown. I guess a cooldown of zero. But oh yeah, we need a cost. Right, true. Instead of cooldown, we have cost. It costs one energy. Okay. Now take a look. Or maybe two energy. Almost nothing. That's very important. Start. Ability cost. Cost. Very important. Uh, now, have we everything? I think we do. Now the ability is in the game. And we can work with it. Okay. Memory managed language is such a wrong term. It implies that you don't need to care about memory. That's true. Yeah, you're right. Maybe it's wrong. But uh, that's usually what people use to describe these languages, isn't it? All right. Now... I think I can start the game and add it to the unit. And we need to program in the code what happens when uh, we add, we use it. So let's add a new node here. Put it right here. Maybe connect it to this node. If I can figure out the... There you go. Now we have it connected. We change the type to an ability. And then we select the... What is energy? Yeah, wait, I'm explaining it. So that was the original idea in question and I needed to define uh, V sprint F, sprint F, create ability. It is pickpocket? Why is it complaining about pickpocket? Oh, I see. Wait, did I not? Huh. Weird. Thought I fixed this. Okay. Base string and footer string. I guess I didn't add that here. All right. All right. So we had a bug. Let me fix that really quickly. Print F. Dot dot dot. Ah, I love it. Okay. So what's up is a huge modern C plus plus enjoyer, and he is complaining about. Print F. Now, what's up? You can have the stage. You can explain to us why it's bad. It's fine. I'm not angry. Explain to us. It's totally fine, bro. Uh, Cakes, no offense. I just want to ask you. Isn't your grass kind of boring? Collector TD has a shared shaded grass people like me and super cool this, do this kind of stuff just giving you a friendly heads up since we are competi competitors since we are competition yeah maybe you should step up step up your game my game is also gonna be free good luck selling your baby shit with fucking fruits and talent real amount. i might shout you out when my game is a huge success but probably not <laughs> His demo wasn't updated in two years. The game looks pretty good, actually. Let him focus so he can finish it. Yeah, ASAP, yeah. I didn't update my demo version in two, we two years, yes. Because I'm currently working on the systems in the game, bro. Okay, you know, Kai, so shut the fuck up! Also, if you want early access to Cake City and arguably better version, look at Blue City 6. You're banned. You're banned. That's too much. I'm not copying Bloons, bro. We just take a look at Path of Exile. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're totally wrong. Alright. Let me find it. Okay. Now, the type is the ability here. Ha! There it is! Look at that! Throws a shield that deals damage and splits into multiple shards on impact. Physical damage minus 95%. Split shards is 10. This is a wrong string. This is supposed to be uh, 0.0f. There you go. And then the range is 220. 
which actually is a lot, lol. Um, I think I need to reduce that range. So now we have this ability here, right? And by default, it is a tier zero ability. And I'll show you what the issue is, I think. Good day, Cakes. Are you, what are you cooking today? We are currently working on a resource system. Gotcha, bitch. A system that makes sense with my tower defense game, where abilities are automatically used by my heroes and if I have two abilities that both cost uh, energy to use and one ability is cheaper than the other ability and they both don't have a cooldown, then it will always use the ability that costs less energy to use. And so I need to design abilities in a way where I can always use the best ability first and somehow figure out a way to spend my energy and make investing into energy a smart choice because you can use your spam ability more often. Maybe there's one ability better uh, to spam than others. And so, for example, for my defender, we are now creating this spam ability, okay? And that spam ability will most likely be the shield throw split shards spam spam ability for the at least for the for the range uh, path of the unit uh, because I think it's cool collector game cake since since you can't read and can't and I can't type long messages uh, messages here also no la, la, line no new line check out your DM smiley face. I'll check out my DMs after the stream. Okay. Gotcha, bitch. Uh, comfy Fabian. Good morning. And uh, Buta Head. Okay. What's up challenged me. So what's up is going to explain to us, guys, why Print F is bad. Okay. Or Sprint F. Are you guys ready? Why is Sprint F bad? Now, before we go, uh, I know that Print F is not type safe. Okay. And so you could potentially crash, but I like it this way. Or you could potentially supply an int to a float, uh, I, I don't know, capture, and then it will display you zero, for example. Most of the time it displays me zero when I supply an int because it's very small. And then that gets interpreted as a zero float, uh, which is not type safe and the compiler doesn't give me warnings about that yes i've had that happen to me multiple times and then i was wondering why the fuck uh that happens okay so cakes i answered your questions have your thoughts it is not type safe you might invoke undefined behavior without knowing it doesn't detect missing arguments at compile time its format specifier is lame try to print a un 64t What bait? Answer your question. I have thoughts. I'm not trying to help him. I make a complaint. Should explain what exactly I complain about and not leave people hanging. I agree, most likely. No, it's fine. Like, hey, huh? what do you mean? It's not a rage bait. No, that's totally... I agree. I agree. But I'm not gonna... I'm not going to print a UN 6040. But we can for... I guess... I don't even know what the capture for this is. What is the capture for a UN 6040? I, I don't even use that, but uh, yeah, what would be the capture of that? All right, so let's see. In the game here, we're going to quickly go and suppose I'll, I'll change the range from 220 to, I don't know, let's do 100 first. Range. Wait, actually, it is a range 20. Wait a minute. Wait, no, no, wait. Scratch. That's the wrong one. Spear toss. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it does. It is. It is a lot. So let's do 80, I guess. <coughs> Hi, should I use std string or const char pointer? I'm using C17. Is it easy to do it the memory way? Or. But I think the st standard library is safer, cakes. 
I think you should do both or the one I should I, I think you should try out both and see which one you like more so the reason why I like STD string is because it allows you to do string operations very easily so for example you want to make a string and combine two strings from one string you just do plus operator very simple and you can also replace certain uh, characters in a string you also have all of these string operations at your disposal right so you want to find a word in your string easy already have that std string gives that all of that power to you now here's why i don't like using std string std string heap allocates memory at a certain character count so let's say your string exceeds a character limit of i don't know how much it is right now but let's say 15 characters 15 characters and then it heap allocates because it's going to be too much on the stack it doesn't want to waste your stack space so now when you use that string or when you build that string because you're doing string operations uh, and the string operation returns you a string you are heap allocating memory and that memory has to be freed later too and so I don't like that because I manage my own memory. You can use a custom allocator, yes, of course, but it's more overhead as well. So, yes, you can. But then, if you do that, then, okay, time wise, writing your own string or your own using character pointers and writing your own functions to find a word in the string could also mean you're spending equal amounts of time. Maybe maybe not maybe maybe not that's just my two cents i think you should try it out and see what you like use const char if it's uh, a string that will never change and you never need to do any operations on std string for other cases cases yeah most of the time you don't you just have strings that are fixed then use const char. yeah that's a good point because it's going to be in the executable memory and the memory of the executable you can change it and uh, it will just sit there all right i hate that part man of the song they have such good songs but this last part sucks um shots okay now we have the ability and we need to figure out a way to activate it activate ability though and uh, i guess we'll go to the very bottom because we are spawning a projectile This is actually the shield throw ability now. I'm going to create a projectile. Oops. And we're getting all of this stuff here. Let's yoink that. Okay, so the sprite for the projectile is going to be sprite, shield, throw, shield. Uh, wow, you're so lucky, man. Shut the fuck up. <sighs> These guys are so lucky. Okay, let's see. Ability shield throw. Underscore shield. Uh, wait a minute. Stop copying Quinn. Cake, stop banning people for content. It's fucking cringe. Stop copying Quinn. I'm not copying Quinn. Cake, ban me for your bunt, but here's the reality. You're toxic. Do you? Uh, you do all kinds of shit. Like, we're hanging out. And when we try to do that, do that, you just ban. You scream angrily, but we don't have right to get angry for that or also when we try to explain ourselves you just read them wrong i think you intentionally do that you can't do that do you can't be that bad on reading some text on screen and be a programmer i know for a fact you won't check dms by the way i'm just gonna let it slide it's fine um 
I just don't engage. I don't have time for this. Uh, let's see. I forgot the name, guys. But uh, we have the underscore shards, too. Ah, it's called the shield projectile, true. Yeah, so shield projectile. All right. And then the impact effect. Explosion sprites, I think... Uh, did Cakes finally <laughs> spec it to unravering stance? I think we don't do an impact effect. And then the ability ID is here. Target components, activate ID, target ID stats, start position direction. We don't have a... Actually, we do have a height. Is projectile height. And then the collider for the shield. Oh, let me see. I want to figure out the colliders. Collider spear toss. Ah, I see. If we don't change the collider, it's a default one. Oh shit, we need to supply a collider. Collider's ability count. Wait, then how does that even work? How does fireball hit? That doesn't make any sense. Cakes feels bad for the band, does not want to lose his sub. Time to figure out the grill and make some ba some burgers. Cakes recommending Gothic 2 Alhiva has me playing Gothic 1, such a good game. Yeah, my man, Gabe uh, right. You're right. I hope the game doesn't crash for you much, bro. Because it's such a great game. And I really hope that I get access to the demo soon, man. I really want to. Gay parades? No. Wait, Gabe Wright. Oh, it's Gabe Wright? Gabe Wright? <laughs> difficult name, bro. Just like Grapes, bro. What's up, guys? Hey, Kubele. It was a long, a long time no see. <laughs> Gabe Wright. Give up Parado. He never answered me after the last drama. He will just forget about it. You're wrong. I did answer you. Not on the comment, but on stream. But I guess you're right. I didn't write back on the comment. Yes. You're right. If you want, I can go back and write a message. You said I will answer later. And never did. Yeah, actually I did. You're right. I apologize. I actually do apologize, yeah. Enough drama today, yeah, yeah. No, I. but you're right, though. I said that and I didn't didn't write back a message, yeah. You're right. I need to take the L there. True. 100%. Okay, let's see. We need a collider. Mm. Actually, mark this as A and then draw weapon. And then bow. And then when we create a projectile here, I have a collider. There you go. Okay. Um, how does a shield look? Like, what would the collider be? How big? Like this? Maybe? 12 by 14? Or should we do 10 by 12? Let's try 10 by 12. Uh, uh. Hmm. <clears throat> If you have that much time, just bring up DMs, Justice. I can't seem to get an answer. I was on a foreign Chinese website earlier. How come the site was in Chinese, but all of the source code was in English? Well, because most each source code is written in English, sir. Like, you have to use a programming language, and that programming language is... Like, it's giving you... The programming language is a language. And so you're just using that language. Uh, dot size is width was 12 and then 10. Okay, and then we add that projectile to <clears throat> I hope I did everything correctly. Now we have the projectile. 
And it should fork. Oh, uh, I don't have a fork sprite ID, dot. Fork sprite ID, ah, sprite. Shield shot. There we go. Okay, guys. Let's see if it works. I understand that, but what about words that don't have any translation? You mean all the Chinese programmers code in English? Um, imagine why not? I saw C++ in Japanese. was so funny. I don't know what you mean. Like, uh, when you're programming... I uh, saw so you mean spawn projectiles, for example. That function name would be English instead of Chinese. You mean that? All right, guys, it is time. The ability is implemented. It costs two energy. So now we finally get to the point where I wanted to get to all the time. We're getting the... Eh? Eh? Oh, I see. Now we have shield up on the character. Sh spectral shield throw. Now, uh, you might not... Oh, you see this. This is my energy bar, my energy meter. And you can see here that I don't have enough energy to use the ability, okay? And over time, my units generate energy. A tiny portion, but they do. And they hit. Oh, wow. Damn. Holy shit. Holy <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh, my God. What's going on? Huh? <clears throat> Why is it spawning 10 shields? What the fuck? Wait a minute, does it create too many pierces? Uh, let's mark this as A and then go to shield throw. And my man Travis Roman, good morning. A lot of non-English code bases I have run into always tend to mix English and non-English. With comments always being in the other language. Yeah, see, that's what I would li would see. The... Like the word JavaScript, there's no way to translate it from English to Chinese. How do you tell them to use their native language to type a word that doesn't exist in their language? So the Chinese should be fluent in English. I think any programmer should be fluent in English. So, yeah, I think any programmer is fluent in English or more or less fluent in English. You have to be. Your game's really good. Time to release. I don't know about that, bruv. All right, so let's see here. Mm. Fork count. But that mean... That means it should have... No peers. Hmm... <coughs> Vampire Survivor's Tower Defense game. Oh, you get Vampire Survivor's feel? Grape? Dude, your name is not Grape. Uh, let's see. I need to give it more range. Let's, let, let's say like some huge range. And then what I also, I also want to do this. Here's where it gets interesting. Okay. If I can type defender, then we add a stat hero dot stat dot base stat energy regeneration or energy stat energy energy region dot base is ten. So I give myself 10 base energy regeneration. That means I generate 10 energy, 10 energy per second. If I now spawn a new unit, you will see that he doesn't generate energy. <clears throat> 
Wait. It's called I need energy regen here. There we go. And by the way, earlier, uh, I really appreciate magic uh, walks and I'm emo. Thank you very much, guys, for resubscribing. Eight months and nine months in a row. Thank you very much, guys, for the big support. I really do appreciate it. All right, I think I just had the wrong... Why does it not work? Max energy, current energy, flat energy per second. I don't understand this. 10. Yeah, so why do you not apply this? Max energy, current energy is 10. Energy per second, current energy. 10. Times delta time. I mean, it should work. I don't understand. Is it really that slow? 10 energy per second? That doesn't make any sense. That's odd. So 100 energy per second should give me full energy after one second. Energy regeneration doesn't do anything. Huh? Why doesn't it do anything? It does nothing. Are you kidding me? Bro. Why not? I get a hundred energy per second. Wait, after six seconds, if we don't generate energy, we start draining. Yeah, but we are regenerating energy, so we do. Flat energy per second. Plus that. Wait. Float. Energy gain. There you go. I don't know why this is, uh, this doesn't work. F10. Let's try this one more time. Huh? How? Wait a minute. The minimum. Current energy. Guys, am I doing something wrong? Oh, wait. Delta time is zero, of course. Wait. I'm stupid. It's because... No. Hey, I do gain energy. Oh my god, I never apply the current energy. I never apply this. True. So wait. Let's mark this as C. And attack. Energy gain on hit. That's what I'm missing here. Energy percentage. And that is on the entity. Energy percent is current divided by max. But shouldn't I do plus equals here? Oh no, actually. This energy. There you go. Okay. Cosmetic energy. 
I hope you have a good day, streamer. Sorry, wrong chat. <laughs> Cakes, have you tried to message Dietmar for sponsor? I think Togobit got a sponsorship as well. You might get access to a non-shitty keyboard that uh, won't make your wrist hurt after an hour of work nails. Um... No. I have set up my keyboard already. Alright, so now it works. There you go. Okay, now, now I'm generating energy. Nice. That's essentially what I want. Cool. So the moment we have energy regeneration, it also means we don't degenerate energy. The way the game works is that if your unit doesn't attack at all, he doesn't regenerate any energy, but he loses energy. The unit. And so now... Here, actually, Defender, we can give him an energy regeneration of, let's say, 10 per second. So more energy generation than we actually need, essentially, uh, to spawn the ability or to use the ability, okay? So we get this ability and the moment we could always... Why does it spawn so many? I mean, it does work. It looks really cool. But why is he spawning like 10 million of these? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Wait, the ability doesn't have any cooldown. Of course. He's spawning. He's using all of these abilities using the rage that he has. He got an Uzi, yeah. So, I uh, see how this works. The ability costs energy and he generates energy. And therefore he's using it like 5 million times. Hmm. I see. So, I need to somehow program this in a way. Where... No, not the cooldown. No cooldown, of course. No, like this is basically me coding it wrong, guys. This is this is a flaw in my coding. So essentially, like this. Why is the orange so bad at aiming the shields? The reason why is because um, the equipment item looks like an under mr cakes which equipment item uh, you mean this i don't think so i don't think so what do you mean uh, what do you mean check my previous message looks amazing cakes is that item next to the cape an upgrade menu and thong. Oh, I see. I, I, it kind of looks like it. You're right. You mean this one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, this one here. Uh oh, uh oh. Holy shit. It's actually quite funny. Uh, this one here, right? It's an eye patch. Um. Let's see. It's this code here. Draw. Wait. Draw weapon. I can't type. There you go. Draw weapon. At the very bottom is the layer for the sword. Or the, the if check for the sword, essentially. Where we handle sword swinging. It's a lot of code. Weapon data hit targets. Intervene. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Lift up. Yikes. If it's intervene or taunt. If not, it activates the ability. So here it, here's where it happens. Um, if... Where's that? Holy shit. Shield bash. God. Yeah, shield bash. If it's intervene or taunt, no. Otherwise. 
Oh god. If we don't have an ability, if it's not none, then we set it to none. Wait a minute. Oh god. There has to be some activate ability here. Once we activate the ability, I think I want to make sure that the weapon data is ability none. I'm pretty sure there's more, but if we activate the ability only once. And where does a weapon the attack direction? Oh, 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 the attack direction is bad. Target. Hmm. Hello, my brother. How's it going? Hey, basically, uh, monkey. It's going good. Currently programming in a new ability. Let's see what happens. Let me redo this. All right. Tell me that works. Okay, so this is totally the wrong location where this happens. He shoots the correct... Also. Why? It needs to, this needs to spawn in a different location. Um, location. Entity target location. Start position, weapon position. No, the start position should be the entity dot position origin. I think that's where it should be. Not on the weapon. Weapon position is wrong. Yeah, it should be this. Let's try that. Better. Much better. Ha! Ah, cool, look at that. There's just one thing. One thing. That I do not want to have happen with this. I do not want to attack. I need to program this a little better. This weapon swing thing. Because, yeah, swing progress, hit enemies, blah, blah, blah. Hit enemies false. Hit enemies true. Um, maybe I should say hit enemies false, but then it depends on the ability, right? Because this is like a diff disconnected if. And then this checks, do we have an active ability? And... Um, how should we know that the we activated the ability already, right? There could be like a flag, but it's really annoying. Should he throw... Pointy end first. So essentially I can't do this. But then I need to somehow change the data for the weapon. Here. To give me some... Maybe I can't do hit targets anymore. Maybe this. And then get rid of this. Could you check Discord DM cakes? Sure. Hello, Abeth. Yeah, I'm sorry, but there was just too much spam in chat. And also the fighting is a lot sometimes. It makes it really difficult to read chat. You know? Maybe it could be like an on-screen effect or something. But that requires a lot of coding. 
So, I don't want you doing that. Gotcha, uh, I'll check that in a second, okay, bro? Hello there, uh, Kenny, uh, Kenny Nator. Good morning. How's it going, bro? Hope you have a good day. All right, let's see. Okay. Uh, it tosses a lot of abilities, huh? <laughs> um, yeah. Maybe I have to do that still. Hmm. This looks a bit better. That looks nice. Nice example. That ability rework was great and adding a new one is very easy. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Abef. Yes, exactly. See, now here's my, here's my predicament, guys. You see how this guy keeps using the ability? And if we check out his energy, you can see that he has full energy. Okay? So this ties it back to the original question of... And by the way, did I just mention... Uh, did you guys see this right now? It took me under two hours to add in a completely new ability that I can now go and balance the way I want to balance it. Did you guys see that? Hmm? 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 Yeah? You guys see that? Good job, Carcass. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it, bro. Yeah. I think I did a good job. And so that's why I did the rework for the abilities. No version control either. What a G. I do have version control. It took me under two hours. Every C plus plus dev. Okay, that's nice. And all, but how? But now factor in the three years it took you to get to this point. Yeah, but that's normal. What are you talking about? You're gonna say the same argument to the animal world guy, Mr. Intrits? Hmm? You wanna have it? You wanna comment on that? You wanna comment on this, sir? Here, here's the mic. Come on, comment. You can't, bro, because you're wrong. I'm Rain. Hello there, my man. Good morning. Hi. Cakes, can you version control these nuts with your mouth? Deep throat the mic. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Which will be usable in 2032 if they misses 26 will be 34 as I expected. DM now. <laughs> Fine, Mr. Abbeth. I'll check the DM. Um, you don't have... Oh, you do. Uh, the new gamma message is shorter than the two old ones. It may appear as more text, but two old messages combined were longer. I think you hit a point at which you... Uh, you have big chat activity and need to disable the Gamba and fight commands. The problem with building C-sharp projects is a problem of the C-sharp code extension to work every time you need to exclude the OBJ files in Watch I Exclude settings. The new bot update with a change just for you because we can't have nice things. Gamba minimal chat message is true. Fight minimal chat message is true. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. Bro. I'm trying, okay? But people give me shit for missing chat messages. Oh, Kek's ignoring me. And then, like, I, I can't have spammy and spammy stuff in the chat, bruv. You know? Get pull. Right. So, you told me to go to Watcher Exclude. So, that is in settings, I guess. Watcher. You're telling me to add a pattern here? That is star star slash obj slash star star. Like this? Okay. Good. And then in the config any example that I pulled, right? Wait. Git pull. Yeah. Chat's mom is beautiful. Mm hmm. And then in the config any example, where's that? Short messages at the top here, I guess. Uh, did you update the uh, config any example? 
Thank you, Cakes. What? YouTube is not spinny at all. Spammy at all. And you miss 90% of the messages. Don't use the bot as an excuse. No, YouTube chat is just so far away that I don't see it. Yes. Create it to create it. You need to run the bot to create a new example. Oh, I see. Okay. I will do that. Uh, let me turn off the bot for a second. All right. So now I don't get this issue anymore, right? With the yellow thing turning red. Also built, yeah. Okay, yeah, it just built that. Okay, cool. Now we have a new example. Global minimal. Okay, print chat messages to console. Okay, so use minimal gamma. Config any. That is... Where is that actually? Under Discord message online. Oh. I'm missing some other stuff too. This one here. I think. Alright, so... Let's do true here. And true. And then fight minimal and chat minimal. Default is false. Ugly but less spammy. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to give you back that. And then maybe you guys can still use Gamba. Let's see. Now you can try Gamba, guys. Why doesn't he not do this before the stream starts? This is a waste of people's time. Yeah, like reading out this message too. Ah, uh, bro. It's still too long, man. It's still too long. It's still too long. The Gamba machine stops spamming, like spinning. This is the old version? But I just updated the bot, bro. It's too many. Like, also, fight is just way too long. Hello there, software Heine. Good morning. Guys, guys, I'm disabling this again. It's too long. New messages are like five words. Bro. Gotcha, bro, this is like 10 words. 20 words, bruv. What are you talking about? This is the old version. Yeah, but how do I get the new version? Huh? Gotcha, bitch. I just updated the bot, bro. Anyways, let's just move on. I'm gonna disable this for now. Maybe I did something wrong. That's fine. Um... We created a new ability and it works. Now, we need to figure out energy regeneration. Okay? This right here. And so I want it to be. Damn, it's really cool, man. I love this. This is awesome. Oh, this is so cool, man. Poggers, yeah. Did you save the config? Or did I save the config? Let me check. Maybe I didn't. Wait, maybe I had a wrong config. Yeah, maybe I had the wrong config. I'm sorry, bro. Alright. Sure my fault. I never said that, bitch. I never said that. Alright, now you guys get Gamba back. You can test Gamba again. that more <laughs> I think that's fine 
Can't be any shorter. Yeah, that can't be much shorter. You're right. I'll see. You know, if it's too spammy, then I will still uh, have to get rid of it in the future. Because I would rather have a discussion with my chat than have a bot spam my chat. I've seen this in multiple channels, you know, around my size, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. And I think it just gets in the way of a proper discussion. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty sure you guys have enjoyed the discussions about game development in games and stuff like that. I've seen that. You know? And so, the, I, I think that's really cool. And I don't want to... I don't want to lose that, essentially. I love this. You know? So, if we can't have this, then I guess we can't. But we'll see, right? For now, well, we're just going to keep it the way it is. Cakes, if we don't have Gamba, we'll Gamba our real money away. Yeah, true, true, I guess. <laughs> yeah, can the boss message be invisible for you? Even then, you guys will not be able to tell apart every message. Because you, you, yes, some of you read the chat a lot, but yeah. I think at some point, unfortunately, it just becomes spam. And we have to make sure that we deal with that, right? We work on that. I think it's just a... How do you call that? It evolves with the stream. The stream evolves, the chat evolves, stuff like that. Okay, cool. Um, I think this right here is bad. I'm pretty sure this is bad. So this breaks out if we make it so that we don't hit enemies. So here's the, the question I have, guys. Mm. Mm, if we hit enemies, then... We always attack. If we target something, hit this unit first. Shouldn't we get the enemy by ID then? Make it faster? And we are skipping here, so this can never happen actually. This is the skipping section. This cannot happen. Just block cakes. It could be a future from Twitch or custom client somehow. I feel like you can't do that without actually deleting the message. Just block cakes. Hmm? What are you guys talking about? Why block me? Nearly time for monkey magic. Yeah, yeah, you're right, bro. We're getting close. We're gonna play. Uh, what is it called? Black Myth Wukong today. I'm so, I'm so excited. It's supposed to be one of the best games ever, right, guys? Damn. And Peter? No, wait, it wasn't Peter. Was it Peter? Shit, I'm fucking I'm a moron. Give me give me a second. I, I will I will remember. Mm -hmm. It wasn't I think it wasn't Peter. No, go away. Shin Tai funded the game for me guys yeah in your celeste clone series has anyone got this going on mac i'm sure i can work it but if someone has shared something it would be good to use that uh, yes actually there is um Prodigy art. He's not here. We have a viewer. I have a pull request, yeah. We have a pull request from a viewer that made a Mac layer to it, yeah. Mac port, yeah. We d I didn't manage to get to it yet, but yeah. I'll Google that person on GitHub. I think he's called differently on GitHub. If you... Let me check. Let me see here. Um, Celeste Cologne. Um, two issues. Mac Clank support. Oh, that's by you, bro. Is that by you? Thank you for this great video series. Is someone get this working on Mac? Yes. Uh, 
Wait a minute. So the participants are not here. The participants are on the Schnitzel Motor. If you want to message him on Discord, that's his name. Maybe you can message him there. He's not in chat right now. But yes. And if you guys want, I can make a... You can make a pull request and then if I... Like, I'm trying to get to it. Really, I am. But I'm building my game at the same time at the moment. And my idea is in the future that when my game is out and it is somewhat successful. Like, let's say we get to 100 reviews. That's already enough for me to make an entire video from start to finish making another game engine and game in C++. Using more modern features too. Maybe Raylib. Maybe not, we'll see. Just basically putting everything into one video that I learned from making this one game. And so I'm still learning, which means it's gonna take some more time. Imagine learning from a cake's video, future ruined in an instant. So many cool developers in chat, of course, and cakes, of course. See, now he thinks I'm trolling him because he can't check what I was replying to. I never said that, what? I was replying to Rico, not you, Paradox. Alright. It works. Mm, is there something more that I want to do? I kind of I kinda stopped here because I didn't want to add in another thing. But I guess we do split. Okay, projectiles. Uh, we can make projectiles split instead of fork. Then we have essentially a base of zero. And then could be increased. Maybe more, but mostly no. I learn a lot from cakes. See, my man? Budget. That's awesome. Now, a bunch of amazing people learned programming through cakes. I think he's. I think the last one even got a job at CrowdStrike. Dang it. They are better materials. Cakes does react nowadays. Who, who said that? Who said that? Ooh, you're gonna get banned. Yeah. Hello there, survival. Good morning. So, wait, is that actually true? Ah, TCAP removed the timeout. I see, I see. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh, it would be nice to have a bot so I can uh, mute messages. This was fr uh, being discussed, cakes. I see. Did you copy Quinn with the timeout sound? TCAP, thanks. Everyone knows the real coders only program embedded systems. Wait, Gnus Nymphicus, you need to follow on that. Gnus Nymphicus, wait, wait, wait a minute. Nah, a bunch of amazing people learn programming through cakes. What is CrowdStrike? Is this guy just, wait, maybe I'm just stupid. Crowd Strike. We stop branches with AI native cybersecurity. I don't think so. Cakes is living under a rock. Dude, I just, I just really don't really, like I do game development, bro. And I have a family. Like, what do you want from me? I don't have time to read about all of this shit online, bro. I'm literally, I do shit all day, bro. Sometimes I'm happy when I get like an hour in the evening or two. CrowdStrike News Cakes. 
CrowdStrike is the antivirus that crashed Windows all around the world a couple of months ago. Ah, I see. So that it's funny because a developer from my chat got a CrowdStrike. I see now. Ah, okay, Genos Nymphicus, you're gone. For, let's say, 10 minutes. It was a funny joke, so let's say 5. Okay. He put a clown too, yeah? He gets it now. Mm -hmm. like hey, AQ, good morning. How's it going? Game demo. Marketing. Mm -hmm. Steam next fest. <laughs> All skin. Don't be afraid of marketing. It's even funnier that you didn't know about the crowd stronger. strike issue. Good game will sell nonetheless. Good morning. The money will come to you. Okay, bro. Thank you. Yeah, the money will come. True. Okay, we have split count now. We need to add texts for this. I can't do too much programming. Because we already have a new ability. But. Let's program in the ability fully. And then decide on how we're going to do this. Okay. Let's see. Mm, Stats. No, projectile stuff. There we go. We do fork count. There you go. And instead we turn that into split count. Split count. There we go. Awesome. And then we go to projectile stuff. Oh, I love this, man. I made a really good, really good uh, setup for all of this. Look at this, guys. Plop. And then we do delete a word. We go here. Boom. And then we just give it names and shit. So. Split, splitting projectiles, projectiles, and then projectiles. Uh, how do we do that? Fork count, split count, I guess. Splitting projectiles, and then split count. And then in green, we have a... Oh, I see. Uh, percentage plus 0f wait plus dot 0f cool splitting projectiles hey how is Genus Nymphicus back again when Quinn stops banning people so will cakes he just copycat 70 you're so lucky that you were so helpful you know like all of these years ago and two months ago you helped me with the stat system. I really appreciate that. And uh, overall, you're a decent coder as well. And you know, you also helped me with the bots a lot in the beginning. I really appreciate that, man. Yeah, you're so lucky. Mm -hmm. You just code slow, so slow at the time and, uh, that the time flies by. Can you add a splitting, a spitting ability? Ah, yeah, we can do stuff like that. Sure. Um, now we need to change that That's to split and then change our update and draw projectiles and then collision uh, let's see returning projectile yeah 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 and draw colliders yeah 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 collide projectiles there we go hey. check for colliders with foliage then they go targets and <gasps> excuse me so Here's where it gets interesting. If we fork... If... Um, split count. And obviously we don't have that yet. So I want to turn that. Maybe we need to turn this into const. Maybe. Do I get an error for this? I don't. Good. Can I turn this into const too? Do I get an error for that? I don't. Good. And const int split count. Int get stat value proch dot stats dot values on stat split count. There we go. Now we have splits in the game. And then if we have splits, that's greater than zero. And 
So how does that work? If we fork, we can either fork or split, in my opinion. So which one would win, guys? Which one should win? Should split win? Or, we f or should fork win? Which one is better? Splitting or forking? How does that work? And how does it work in Path of Exile? I think like it, it's like test both ways. Just check the POE wiki already. Stop swearing. Uh, let's see. And peers count is less than or equal to zero. Cakes, okay, so have you seen the yell and swords and sandals gladiator? No. No, I have not. They were implying that CrowdStrike global downtime for globalization g gazillion computers were caused by someone taking coding tips from you. Best joke in EU. I don't like your attitude on YouTube, bro. I don't... P POV, you gotta be careful, okay? I don't like your attitude. We gotta be more positive here, guys. Okay? We have to be more positive. That's not nice. Okay? Apply fog damage reduction. And we rename this to split projectile. Then we spawn projectiles in an arc. We gotta do this differently. So how do we do that? Spawn projectiles. <clears throat> it's incredible how fast you implemented that new ability. Thank you, Galaxy Media. You actually mean that? Actually, he doesn't mean that. I know this guy. He's just pretending. Fuck you. I know you. Hmm. Kinda, yeah? Yeah, really? Angle, spacing count. Arrow spacing. There we go. This is the spacing. Maybe I want to supply this as a... Ah, this is in radius, radiance, right? This is in radiance. So if I want to have a perfect circle, I need to divide two pies by that, right? Just use two, two deck. I'm gonna test this. But then if I have like two splits, that would look odd, right? Maybe random? Nah. Guys, I need to go to the bathroom, but let's do float, arrow, spacing. Can I turn this into a const? Is that possible? You can convert radiance to degrees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we need the arrow spacing, right? How do we do that? Do I do 2 pi? Divided by... Split count? And then over here, pierce count, four count, and split count. And we set the fog sprite, we do additive blending. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Actually, really nice. I don't think that works, by the way, guys. Do you really want... Cuddly cakes, do you really want cuddly? Yes, saying viewers that lick the ground you walk on? Or do you want to keep the five head critics giving you feedback, kicking you in the ass, pushing you towards the end? True, 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 true. Cakes, do you know what you split and fork are the same? You just use split, bigger fork angle for projectiles. Yes, they are the same. I noticed that just now. That's how programming works. I know, maybe... It's the same thing, but um, 
I guess we need to have a wider angle then. How would we define that splitting angle? Right? Let's see. I give myself a point here. Here you go. And I think the ability... I didn't use split yet. Shield throw. It's still using fork, yeah. Oh wait, there was... Oh shit. Okay, right here. I wanna mark this. As B. Your game looks great. Is it a solo project? Yes, it is, bro. Uh, chat's helping as well. And POE split is like multi projectiles. Focus applied on each main project cakes. I need to go to the bathroom, guys. And we get an error anyways, I think. Give me a second. Sorry about this. Projectile count is an... Oh, yeah, right. Okay, uh, I figured this was wrong. It is this. Have to praise the wall in the Dark Souls clip. Uh, split count, by the way. There you go. That was the issue. Let's try that again. Oh, it works. Lol. It just works. But is it good? Is it a good thing? What do you guys think? Do you think that's a good thing to have? Hmm? It will be good if you make it good? What does that mean if you make it good? The shards are really hard to see. You're supposed to. They're supposed to be hard to see because you're gonna have a lot of spam. You're gonna have a lot of spam in in the game, bro. They need to be hard to see. You don't see projectiles and balloons either, and there's a reason for that. Visual clarity is a bit bad, Imo. Guys, you're not supposed to see all of these projectiles. Double them so we can see. Double them? You think there should be more splits? Yeah. So instead of 10 shards, we're gonna have 20. Shards move too fast and too, f uh, too far. The reason why they move so far is because of the range. They won't be moving that far. I mean, a lot of space, a lot of stuff is wasted, right? Oops. I think it's fine. Damn, what is the hex code of that orange in the comments? For that orange in the comments? Oh, this is better comments, silly the cat. If a shield travels faster than the arrow, then that's not a shield. You should have Captain America thingy. What are you guys talking about? Shot splitting into more shots. Why does your sword suddenly do no, deal no damage? Yeah, so this is a programming thing. Programming related. This has to do with me not attacking at all. This? Better comments? Yeah, this one. That one's good. Pretty fancy. I like the effect either way. I think it's good. Me too. Trail position. It's essentially code in here that's really bad. I need to make it better. I'm gonna... I have to fine tune this code. This code is really bad. Overall, it's pretty good. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool too. You know?
Reminds me of the Bloons Plains a little bit. Exactly. And you know what we could do here? Projectile homing could be part of the tree. Take a look. So let's say this guy right here, right? We have this ability. And then um, we're going to add two more. I don't really add projectile homing. And then we say, okay, well, I want to have homing projectiles. Um, ooh, homing, right? Do I have this as a stat already or not? I don't think I have homing projectiles yet. Hmm. Hey, you're doing an amazing job. Hey, thank you, Kuroko. I really appreciate it, bro. That's awesome to hear, man. Thank you. What a nice person. I think the defender should start with a shield. His abilities require a shield. And he is also the most bland and boring looking from your character so far. Hmm. Paid to rate money invested. <laughs> I don't invest money into this. Okay, bruv. Sorry, bro. My prime went to XQC. <laughs> That's fine, bro. That's awesome. I appreciate it, though. Cherise. Hmm. What do you get by uh, by being a sub in XQC's channel? Are there like really cool benefits? Maybe I can steal some benefits so I get more subs too. Like any any good benefits you get from being a sub there? Uh, apart from no ads, of course, right? He's just cooler, bro. Ugh. Okay. Not really. You get laughed at. Mm. I do not have homing. Projectile homing. So this is the next thing we need to add into the game. I wonder if Ramis is here. I wonder if he's smart if he's proud of me. He's not here. Fuck. He met Donald. If you meet Scholz as up, no, Scholz doesn't give a shit about me, bro. <laughs> Absolutely Am I not. So out of touch? <laughs> no, because you just gifted you sub. One sub to the community. Not really, you get laughed at. But I've been a sub since 2019. Oh, you have a streak there, I see. Thank you very much, Pikachu. I really appreciate it, man. You're sending a sub to Cherise. Hey, yo, thanks. Yeah, true, true. Uh, projectile stuff. Chain count, four count, huh? Okay, how do I do this then? Am I so out of touch? Mm. No. Killed Aft is gifting for oh, my man. Sub to the community. Holy. Thank you. Hilda, thank you so much for gifting five subs to the community. Wow. You're so generous. Thank you very much. Uh, did you see how much the Regierung paid for a snake game cake? No, I did not. The last video I made on money and uh, how. Uh, how econ economy works i got a lot of backlash <laughs> so i privated the video i was like okay fine i have absolutely no idea what i'm talking about so yeah i need to educate myself on that a lot more terrain yeah yeah thank you guys thank you it really does help a lot you know guys thank you very much <sighs> Okay, guys, uh, I think I need to sleep on something. Struct projectile. A projectile has a homing strength. It's a float value. And this minuscule float value is already enough to make a projectile home almost perfectly. Unfortunately. So, for example, I think, 
I think, actually. Uh, let me see. Or maybe not. Game CPP. Um, I wish I were here from the start to learn the basics of OpenGL. Greetings. Hey, Captain Moy. Long time no see, bro. Greetings. Yeah, but you can. I mean... It's not the best tutorial out there. Maybe there are better ones. But there is some stuff about OpenGL in there too. And also learnopengl.org is the best thing as well. Over here. This one. You can learn a lot of stuff. Here too. Newton Morgan Gigabitch. Uh, I mean, that's nice. Hey, Mr. Amida, how's it going? So you want to tell a little bit more about what you did on... Uh, ver uh, what is it called? What is it called when you were with the army? He never learned the basis of open OpenGL. He doesn't use any VAO or VBOs. I once tried, tried OpenGL and C and not C++ and the documentation was just too much horror. Though that was like 10 years ago. Back to work. Prison. No, like what is it called? Like a uh, army... <sighs> Wehrdienst in English halt. Basic service or yeah, something like that, right? I don't know what it's called. Thank you. Love watching your streams. Hey, Christopher. That's awesome to hear, man. Thank you. What a nice comment, man. Wow, chat's so wholesome now. Thank you, guys. You guys are so wholesome. Wow. Damn. That's really cool, man. It means a lot to me, man. Thank you. We're gonna play Black Wukong. No, like Black Myth Wukong in a second. Right? It's Black Myth. I just need to figure out... Oh yeah, homing strength, right? So, um, shield throw. There you go. Projectile. Dot homing strength. What if I set this to 1? What happens then? Ah, they don't have targets. That's why they don't home. These projectiles don't home towards any targets. That's why. They are just flying in random directions. Because I'm not targeting anything. I get it now. So how can I make projectiles home towards certain targets? How did he just miss? Did I cancel out the homing? If the shots would home, it would be OP. Just huge damage increase. Yeah. An Omni moves. My <laughs> man. Thank you for three dollars. Thank I you. For the... Thank you very much, man. For three dollars. I live for the. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it very much. Live for the. Where's this tea coming from? Should these home though? Yeah, it would be an improvement to the ability, but the shield doesn't home at all. It should actually home properly, it shouldn't miss at all. It should be perfectly homing. So I don't understand this. 
Oh yeah, wait. Why is it missing? It's only homing towards the end, it looks like. Uh, so it looks like my homing code is wrong. Maybe it was this homing code here. Guys, did we really fuck up the homing code? Oh, wow. What? That's bad. The projectiles don't hit anything. Hmm. Was that too much? You're just pointing the projectiles uh, at a target. Finally space where some tests would be helpful. Yeah, but I just don't know how to program this yet. Like, I don't know how to test it yet because I don't know how I want it to behave yet. You're right, sir, but how do I want it to behave? I don't know. Let me see. So this wasn't it, I guess? So it was this. Lab. So did we ever fix did we ever fix homing projectiles or not? Oh god, I don't want to do this again. Uh I think you did with the arrows before, yeah, I think I did. Let's see how this looks. Oh wow. This is definitely not it. Not only is it missing, it's only flying. This is so bad. Yeah, terrible. It's actually really bad. We need to figure out a better way. You know what the funny thing is? And you guys are gonna be laughing, but... Um, <sighs> Real Supaku had a really good implementation for this that worked perfectly. And I didn't want to take the implementation because I didn't want you guys to... To make fun of me. For some reason when I see those guys. I see a lot of seagulls. Making others work. Uh, again. Do the enemies need some. Circular hitbox. In the homing targets middle. Of said box. So they won't just circle around the coordinates. Uh, no. This is a different issue, I think. I think it's a different issue. I think the issue is not that these projectiles are homing wrongly. I think the issue is that I didn't clear... Let's see, Mark, this is B, jump to A. I think this is uh, the issue here. Where's that? Um... This projectile here, the split projectile dot hit IDs needs to be reset to zero. But then I think all of the split projectiles actually hit. Yeah, they hit. They don't split off. Because it's hitting the target too. Essentially they are homing so strong. That. Well I probably need to disable their collider for a time. Then. So here's a question guys. Right. Let's say we have a projectile. 
Okay. And we have an enemy. And we shoot an arrow at this enemy. Okay. We hit the enemy. And then the enemy splits into three other projectiles. And then what happens is this projectile right here over time loops back and hits the enemy again. Should that be possible? Should this be possible? Can you increase the steer strength over time? Uh, I think I want to keep it static. And then I want to use... Uh, this right here to give myself basically a homing strength percentage increase and at a hundred percent homing strength increase uh, it's really it, it turns like really fast around when did you add these white bird enemies white bird they would need some... Uh, wait, technical issues get, it will take some more time to bet that you're going to play the monkey game afterwards. I was looking forward to one of your amazing, the insightful reacts. They would need some anger that if the enemy is out of the anger, it won't even try to home backwards. And another variable for the turn speed of the projectile. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm using Linux and built-in trap works for me instead of debug trap. Built-in debug trap works for you instead of debug trap? Well, um, wait a minute. But I think we have that too, bro. Let me check. Shut the fuck up. GitHub. Celeste so clone. I think we have this, bro. Source. Yeah, I mean, we do this here. Looks cool, not sure if desirable when it comes to game design. Look at my message. I am using Linux and built-in traps works for me instead of the debug trap. Ah, so trap works for you, but not debug trap. I see. Okay, guys, tomorrow we're going to work on homing projectiles again. We're going to make it so that this ability right here is gonna home projectiles back to the original target. And uh, we essentially make the ability better. Maybe we make it even so that these projectiles try to figure out the closest enemy where they are and then home towards that enemy if they are supposed to home guys it's really important to have that are you stupid oh you guys have no idea you're so stupid it's insane bro it's really crazy but yeah, this is what we're gonna do tomorrow. Today we added in a new ability and I think I like it. I think it's a really cool ability and yeah, I'm surprised how well it works. And then I think for split, I think I'm going to make this better. I'm going to actually turn this into Fox, um, but I will call it split. And then the arrow spacing is just a variable that we should be putting on the projectile here where we say okay well we have a homing strength and then we have a float 
arrow spacing, which by default is 0.25. Now it's on the projectile and now fork angle. Yeah, so we could call it fork angle. Exactly, something like that. Now we have the fork angle of the projectile and we can determine whether we go around in a circle or we, we do something else, right? Exactly. Was it hard to code the logic for the split arrows that turn and follow the enemy? It is not that easy for me, yes. But it's in, in, in like, generally speaking, making an arrow follow an enemy is not that difficult. Uh, but what I want is a certain amount of angle that the arrow turns each frame. Essentially, he can't turn more than a certain angle. That's essentially what I think the issue is. I heard that humans are able to learn math because Cake's brain came up with sine and cosine to do this. Logger works and I don't need it right now. Anyway, I'm using Relip, it's fine. Logger works and I don't need it right now. Cool. Cakes, try out the rainbow indentation VS Code plugin. No, I don't want to use more. No, I don't want to use more plugins, bro. I'm very happy with my Visual Studio Code installation, bro. Very, very happy with this. Actually, extraordinarily happy. How are you to do highlighted in orange? It's an um, extension. Better comments. There you go. This one right here. I don't have many, but this one is one of them. I thought it looked interesting. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does, but I want it to look like this. I'm happy though. We are, we are answering questions about projectiles that make sense. And so should this be possible, right? Should the projectile hit again? That's essentially the big question that we need to answer. What do you guys think? If a projectile splits off, right? Like split or fork. Should the projectile hit again? What do you guys think? Should this be possible? That we can actually hit again. I think it's fine if it makes a circle and hits again. It should hit the nearest enemy next to split off projectile. Hmm. So instead of homing, but okay. Study pause. Oh, I hate that. I'm going to remove this song. Actually going to remove it. There you go. Okay. Could I have it split 50% the distance to the enemy? Then it will look like cluster missile. What if no other enemy? Yeah, that's the question. What if no other enemy? If there's no other enemy, it should loop back to the original enemy. Yes. Yeah, so it's... I think these arrows here, they will look for a new enemy. Look for new enemy, but by default, uh, they go back to the original run. D 
Default is the original one. Default original. And you guys can see that. But it's OG. The original. Since you're copying me right now, I already have the skill in Collector TD too. Did you see the leaked screenshots or what? Since you're copying me right now. <laughs> what is the lifetime of the split arrows? The lifetime of the split arrows is the distance they fly. And right now I have a very large distance. Uh, and later on, the distance will be something that I change with stats. Since you're copying me right now, last time I share anything. Yeah, sure, bro. <laughs> Takes to used once and never again. Hmm? Guys, this time, the time on stream is too short. Ah, the time on stream is way too short. Sag. We, I'm gonna keep this open for tomorrow. This is going to be interesting tomorrow. Just go AFK for an hour. What are you talking about? Steam. It's time, guys. It is time. Please let me open the game on a different monitor, please. On this monitor right here, rather than the main monitor. Monkey time, yes. Acting like he's thinking about it when he's just going to copy Path of Exile anyways. No. Cakes Wukong. Yeah, we're gonna play Wukong now. First time. Is it good? Uh, let's see. There's gotta be a million people playing this game, right? Black Myth Wukong. Yeah, only 60,000 players. Yes, only 60,000 viewers. You're gonna be at the gutters there. Yep. There you go, guys. It's time. The title didn't lie. Yeah, no, of course not. First time playthrough. Blind. Cannot... Don't forget the blind. Yeah, true, true. We're actually blind. First time, Black Myth Wukong, blind. True, you're right, sir. So the game does take a while to start. It is an Unreal Engine game. 